Audio Jungle. Hello and welcome back to our web development course, HTML. In this lecture, we're going to get introduced to HTML. So we shall begin by defining HTML. HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages, as how we looked at it in the previous lectures. HTML describes the structure of a web page using a markup language and HTML elements are the building blocks of HTML pages. HTML elements are represented by tags. As you shall see, when you shall be writing this HTML, we shall be using tags. Don't worry, you will understand what is meant by tags. HTML tags label piece of content such as heading, paragraph, table, and others. So you'll know that HTML tags are nothing but just a piece of information which are labeling heading, tags, and tables, and lists, as how you'll see in the code that you're going to make. Browsers do not display the HTML tags, but they use them to render the content of the page. You realize that the browsers will not be displaying these HTML tags, but they will be using those HTML tags to make the content of the web page. So let us go to the code and make our very first web page. I'll come to my desktop and create a folder called web. Then I'll open this folder and this inside this folder there is another folder called HTML. Then I'll open this HTML and right click in that f inside that folder and say new and say text document. Everyone on Windows platform he can do this. So I'll select the whole of it and say one I say underscore then say intro introduction to HTML. Whatever name you may give it. I'm putting one because I want the code to be organized. So after putting the name of the file then don't forget to put dot HTML that is the extension that we are using so far. So I'll press enter two times. So that is the file that we have just made. So we are going to edit this file. To edit this file, you just right click on it and say open with, then notepad. If you don't see notepad here, you just say choose more, choose other app. Then you'll see notepad still will come. So you shall select Windows Notepad. This Notepad is on every Windows platform. So I'll open and to load. And that's our Notepad. So let's write our very first block of code. <coughs> we shall write less than, and then we write the word H1. Then we write again greater than sign. And say this is my first page this is my first web page then after we we'll write less than sign and the forward slash and again we write this one h1 that you have put it here then you write it here again h1 and then write the greater than sign don't worry if you don't understand what is meant by this and this. We shall explain all of them. Then to complete this, let us do one more thing. We shall write less than sign and put P and write greater than sign. And say this is, is my first paragraph. Paragraph. Don't worry if you don't understand these tags. We are going to explain all of them. Then write the less than sign and put forward slash and put P and put greater than sign. Then save by pressing Ctrl S or coming to file and say save. Now we have write our first code of HTML. Now let us test if it is working in a browser. So to test if it is working in a browser, we can minimize here. Then you come and right click on it and say open with. And select any browser of your choice that is inside your lab in your computer for example i may select google chrome 
if you're having Firefox, you can use Firefox. If you're having Opera, you can use Opera. If you're having Microsoft Edge, you can use Microsoft Edge. Let me open with Google Chrome. So it will process, and you can see I successfully made my first web page. I hope you also you have also done the same and did not get problem. If you got problem, then please put in the comment section and we shall discuss about it. I hope you've got it. Now let us compare these two codes. I'll compare my browser here with a code that I've just made. This is the executed code and this is the code that I've just made. Look at this. This is my first web page. This is my first web page. Here it is bolded and here it's not bolded. It's just a normal text. And I'd like you to realize that this H1 did not appear here and this H1 did not appear here. It means that this H1 it's what the computer uses or what the browser uses to explain what is between it. And after this H1 there's the word page. And the boldness of this word it stopped when you put the word H1. So it means this H1 is the one that brings this boldness. A text to appear bold. And then it is closed to say that the boldness to stop from here by putting the same tag which is with uh, which is having the forward slash don't worry still if you do not understand this we're going to explain it with a the, with a with a with a notes and likewise here this is how you write a paragraph and you have seen how the browser ex uses these tags to explain what is to be presented so let us go back to our slides and try to learn more but before we go back to the slides I'd like you to know that this is the hard way of doing things in other words this uh, so this notepad was designed not to develop websites it was designed for everything that's why it did not help us maybe to suggest the code but we need a text editor for helping us when you're developing websites and we have different text editors in the world there is notepad notepad plus plus there is uh, atom many text editors and in this course we shall be using sublime text as our text editor and i'm going to show you how we download and install sublime text i'll first connect to internet Then I'll come to my browser and type google.com. I believe everyone can reach here. Then I'll type sublime text 3. Sublime text 3. And press enter. So you you will select the very first search result. Download sublime text. Click on it. It will open and then you choose a certain download according to your platform. Me, I'm using Windows 64 bit. Then I'll select this one. If you're also using Windows 32, all of them are available here. So I'll click here to process and bring me a download. So it will ask me, Do you really want to download this? I'll say yes, we should download it. So it has begun downloading and it's going to finish just within a second. So that's Sublime Text. You can read about it if you have some time. You can read about the APIs, etc. Now, my download it has finished. I'll just double click on it or click here and say show in the folder. And this is that the download that I've just downloaded right now. I'll right click on it and say run as an administrator. When I click here, then it will ask me to allow it to install. Then I'll say yes. Then what you do here is nothing but pressing next, selecting the location I need to install it, then next and say next and say next and install. It has even that's that's the whole process. Sublime text has finished installing on our computer. We now have it in our in my in our computer. I hope you do not also get problems when you are downloading this sublime text the link where you can get this updated sublime text i'll include it on the video description i'll click on finished 
Then I'll come to my start menu and I'll see sublime text here. If you don't see it here, you can still type sublime text here. It will come for those who are using Windows. Then you shall click on sublime text and it will open. This one is the one that is designed to develop our web pages. Still you can use other text editors, but as per now in this course we shall be using sublime text. So let us see the reason why we need this sublime text. So we shall come to file, save, then uh, we shall click here and say maybe I'll create another folder here and say introduction to it but call it one then introduction to it intro action to web and then I'll open that folder and maybe put another text it uh, another another file inside then maybe I'll say one intro let's say one underscore intro dot html don't forget to put the file extension so when we save our file using this extension Sublime Text automatically it will know that you're going to use HTML in coding this project. Now, let us do this. You write HTML, then press the Tab key. The Tab key is that one under the Escape. Again, one button, then under the first button on the keyboard. That's what you call the Tab key. So when you press the Tab key to bring us these options. It's first HTML and the second HTML. Just press enter. Then you'll see it will bring for you these things. We're going to explain what is meant by these things. But don't worry. I'll put here my title. I'll explain all of them. Don't worry. Then inside the body, I'll put H one and put it and press the tab key you see the advantage of sublime text you just press h1 then it create for you the tag other than using the text editor of uh, notepad for it you could type everything by yourself but here you just press just write h1 and press tab then it will put for you a tag but it will it is better to write the tag by yourself if you're a beginner so for rapid development we shall use this in order to save time so i'll suggest my heading my heading and then i'll come down here and press enter and you can see it is trying to organize our code and then tags are separated from our normal text by just different colors so that's why i need the text editor which is modified for web development not using the Microsoft Notepad, which is how you have to to code everything by yourself. You'll be reliable to make mistakes, but it's still fine if you want to use it. So I'll continue here and say P, just write P, then I press the tab key, it will suggest the remaining things. So it will close and open the tab. So I'll say this is my paragraph okay so that's it now right click here and say open in a browser then if you open a browser you'll see your file will come here you will have come here automatically in the browser and if you compare what is in the browser with a sublime text you can see still the h1 was not displayed my heading and uh, p was not displayed my paragraph then this title if you come here you'll see it on the name of the tab as the name of the tab don't worry you're going to explain all of them so i'll come back to our lecture so that's a brief introduction to html we proceed explanation of what we've just written the word doc type as you have seen in our code we had this word doc type 
what does it mean it means the declaration or it defines this document that is a HTML file so this head doc type we write just less than sign then explanation mark then that doc type and put HTML and write less than sign this one is the one that tells the computer or the browser that we are using HTML5 in other words if you remove this it will just be normal HTML but if you put this then you will be telling the computer that I'm using HTML5 that's, the, what, that's what it means so proceed HTML element is the root of the HTML page let us come back to the code you can see here this HTML is the root of HTML code this is just telling the doc type but this HTML is the one that is telling that my HTML begins from here my HTML code begins from here so you can see it is beginning from here and closes from here so we proceed the head tag element it contains the meta information about the document if you come here still this head is the one that contains the information about the document can you see we had our title here it is the information about the document but it's not part of the document just the information about the document so as we shall proceed you see all the information that describes the content in our document we shall be putting them between this head tag so we proceed we have the title tag the one that specifies a title for the document as you saw in our browser I'll come back to the browser with the browser to used to execute the code that we did so you can see that my title and here can you see these two my title this title tag is the one that describes what should be displayed in the tab of our page or web page so that is that's what is meant by the title tag but this title will not be displayed in our document so you now understood what is meant by the title tag is the one that we use to describe what should be displayed on the tab of the window that has that is opened to proceed the body tag is the element that contains the visible page content so everything between the body here everything between this body tag is the content that will be displayed on the screen otherwise if you put something here between the head tag it will take it as if it's just the description of our content but not the content so things between head tags will just explain what is inside the page but things between the body tags are the one that will be able to appear on our page so let us come back here and see that everything that is inside between the body and uh, between the body is the one that where they are the one that we are able to display on our screen but things which are between the head we just use to describe what is inside the page for example my title you can see my title is in the window it was it is not displayed it was not displayed in the page we proceed HTML I mean h1 is the element that displayed a large heading like the way you see here h1 is the one that was used to do what to describe this big heading but don't worry we shall look at different types of H's so H1 means heading number one or heading one otherwise if you change this one tag to another word then it will not display so anything between this H1 will be considered as heading and displayed in bolder font so I know you now understand what is meant by H1 and the P of course it stands for the paragraph so that's a brief introduction on HTML and that will make our first lecture on HTML let us meet in the next lecture where we are going to go deeper in HTML by looking at HTML tags HTML page structure and H different versions of HTML I hope you not miss in that interesting lecture ahead so let us meet in the next lecture and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe
and like and share see you in the next video